Good morning. It is day, I think it's day 15. It's almost nine right now. I'm making my way down to the NFC. I, you know, I don't know where I'm camping tonight. <laughs> um, I have a friend that left her pants at at Cold Spring Shelter last night, so I'm meeting her at Rufus Shelter, which is right before the NOC. So, I don't know, part of me wants to stay there, but I don't want to stay at the NOC because I'm far out. Somebody said they had bed bugs. So, I don't, I wouldn't want to stay there. Um, but then, like, the climb out of the NFC is six miles up. Um, and the next shelter after the NFC would be 18 miles total for me today. So there's really just not a great location. So part of me may stay at a hostel. Also, I wanted to talk about the book that I'm reading because it's so good. Well, I'm not reading, I'm listening to it. Um, but it's called Better Living Through Birding, I believe, and it's by Christian Cooper. It is so good. Um, like two weeks before I started the trail, I started to get into birding. I had some coworkers who are incredible birders and I go out with them and they taught me so much, but, as I've been out here, I've been like recording different calls and songs of different birds and trying to, woo, trying to work on my identification of them. And I think I'm improving, but the book has been so lovely to listen to. Um, yeah, I have yet to log my birds that I've seen out here. So maybe that's something I'll start doing best news I've seen. Hike faster! Trail magic ahead! Yeah! Yeah. Don't, don't worry, it's just a 40 pound golden retriever. <laughs> like it, was, it would be so cute to live like on front street and stuff. Front street is... Oh. It's so historic. Yeah, it really is. Wow. And we're on the uh, Show me. end of endless trail magic. So. That's so cool. The it wonder y'all story. That's amazing. All right. It's time to leave the magic and continue on. Wow. The stairs up here were really steep. Glad I took my pack off. Hello. So I wanted to tell you all about the bartering I've been doing on trail. So I I get tired of my drink mixes and I like want to change it up every once in a while. So I'll trade with people. And I traded with somebody, um, whatever I had, I forget. I think it was a noon tablet for a element. And you know, all, all the people, all the hikers sponsored by element, everybody has it right now. I was like, you know what? Like, yes, let me trade. Let me give it a try. And I got the watermelon salt. It's in there right now. It's actually so good. Like, I know people say like, they're salty, but it's like salty in like a good way. The person I got it from said that you have to be like, stick to the amount of water they say, otherwise it'll only taste like salt. So I feel like if you follow the directions, like it would be really good and it is. Um, so I just thought I would come on and say that because I feel like everybody talks about them, but they're sponsored. And so you don't, like actually know if it's good or not but I'm coming on here to say yes it is good I'm not sponsored but I don't know Element if you're watching this 
Hashtag not sponsored, but I wish it was. <laughs> because it was so good. I'd take more. All right, that's my update. Wow. Just look at this, this is incredible. This is the trail. Wow. Ooh, made it. Now we need to find footprint to give her her pants. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Here's the luxury that a private room will get you at the NOC. Got the AC unit blasting. Um, but yeah, that's that's the space. Um, cost like $124 before, like after taxes and things. To say I would recommend I mean, I didn't, I wanted to stay here. Not for here, but for here. So, I guess it's okay. So I didn't explain this much earlier, but clearly I decided to stay the NSC. It just felt easier rather than like trying to figure something out. So I decided to stay here also because there was like a lot of stuff around here that I wanted to do as you saw I did earlier. So here I am. I have two others that joined me in this. It's called a private room, but there's four bunks in it. Um, yeah, so pretty good gonna hike out tomorrow. Don't know how much we'll do. I want to try to make here to Fontana be two days. There's not a lot of good spacing from here to there. So we'll see. Good morning. Don't mind my out of breathness. <laughs> I'm riding straight up. Uh, for about six miles out of the NOC. So, lots of heavy breathing. <laughs> um, about an hour into the day, almost at two miles. So I'm doing a pace over three, 30 minute mile. Um, I was able to call my mom on the hike up this morning, which was nice. Whew. Stop right here and talk. <sighs> to walk up hill and talk. <sighs> Anyways, I feel like I had to accept yesterday, you know, the whole like hike your own hike. It's so much easier said than done. Um, I love hiking with like Vista and Footprint, but they're ready to move on and push the miles. And I wanted to hang out. <laughs> I wanted to spend time at the NRC, go to the restaurant, put my feet in the water, drink a cider, like do whatever. And like, if people wanted to, I would have gone whitewater rafting. <laughs> this is 2 a.m. Um, and I saved the money to do things like that if I really wanted to. So I feel like it's hard, like loved hiking with them, but you also have to do what you want to do. Hike your own hike, as they say. Definitely easier said than done when you people when you meet people you like hanging out with. Hello, here's a flat spot. I'm at about three and a half miles close to it. Um, just wanted to share that the re part of the reason I didn't continue on yesterday is I wasn't sure if there was going to be spots on the way up. Um, cause none were like really listed and far out, uh, in like comments or anything. Uh, and I didn't want to go 16 and do the climb up, but I just wanted to share that here and there, there's been a couple spots, like small like that, like room for one, sometimes two tents. I saw one at close to two miles 
and close to like two and a half and that three and a half. So if you're doing the trail and you're in that dilemma that I was in, if you're willing to risk it and hope that nobody else is like there, there are some spots sporadically, but it would only really fit like a small tent, and maybe sometimes two tents. So it'd be hard if you have like a big group. Wow, look at this. It's absolutely gorgeous. Little campsite up here. It's so pretty. Just made it to the top. Um, this is, let's see. It is Chioa, maybe is how you say it? Bald. It's so pretty up here. Wow. Well, it's the six miles out of the NOC and it's about eight miles into the day, um, past that shelter, so it's six miles up and then kept going and there's this little climb up to here. I mean, it's not little, it wasn't like really easy, but it was smaller than the original climb. So now we're just walking up here and it's gorgeous. And we're gonna try to go to um, Ground Fork Shelter. It would be about 16 total, a little less. Um, we have about eight or nine to go, less than nine for sure. Um, and it's about a bit after one. So probably get there around six maybe. So, but that'll put us about halfway to Fontana Dam and then have then I'll stay right at the Fontana shelter. Um, people call it the Fontana Hilton, evidently, I learned, because it's a really nice shelter. It's one of the nicest on the trail. So I will have to report back about that. Um, but then we'll start the Smokies. So super exciting. But yeah, that's the update. All right, I'm stopping to get water because there's not a good water source near the campsite. But look what somebody did. That's nice. Makes it real easy. Hello. I am three miles from Stokoi Gap. And some day hikers told me there was trail magic there. And now, I'm trying not to get my hopes up too much, but... Fingers crossed, it'll still be there when I get there. There was trail magic left here, so that was nice, but I don't know if it was quite what they described, so the people probably moved on, but I'm happy for the apple. This is quite the path. They're doing construction, so I don't know if it's always like this or if it's like down there, but have to cross this, but they have a crosswalk sign for us, so that's nice. Here's the trail, make sure nobody's coming. We're gonna go quick. All right, nobody came. <laughs> Looks like they made some nice stairs for us. It's very kind. All right, I made it to Brown Fort Gap shelter. It's down there. You can't see it, but I'm very happy to be here. <laughs> um, the climb wasn't like too bad out. I just I listened to my audiobook, which helped. Um, yeah. I took my time. Yeah. It's a pretty sunset. Anyways, good morning. <laughs> if you couldn't tell, it's kind of chilly. <laughs> um, it's like 32, 33 maybe. Um, we're heading to 
the Fontana Hilton shelter, Fontana Dam shelter is its official name. Um, evidently has chargers because they have solar panels and they also have a bathhouse. So yeah, nice shelter. Somebody said it sleeps like 30 people. So we'll see how many people are there. Fontana Dam. Making my way down. Here we are at the marina. Let's see how much everything costs. Hey, hey, Matt! You know how whack Fontana Resort is. So we just like, I, I don't even know, like wandered our way at the bistro entrance. This place is so expensive, but everything is like under construction, which is like fine, but like just everything is so yes, please please prod in our progress um as we work to improve. Okay. Can can you bring this? Yeah, can you like bring down the price then? <gasps> okay. Room tour before we leave. Ignore our mess. <laughs> This is our room. It was so nice to sleep in the bed. Also a large bed. All my stuff I washed. And a shower. And a bath. I wanted to take a bath, but the water, I used all the hot water in my shower, so I couldn't. But that's the place. If it'll start, there we go, it started. Hello, good morning, me and Vista. <laughs> uh, we started the day, we got, um, dropped off by the shuttle um, back to the marina and we're going to just go as far as we can today. Uh, the original plan is like 13 miles but we'll see if we're feeling like going further but the next day will be even longer so we'll see how we're feeling. We're trying to get as close as we can to Clayman's Dome so then we can watch the sunrise there um, a couple days from now. So, fingers crossed. I mean, regardless, like we could just wake up early and hike before the sun rises. But the least amount of distance we have to do that morning would be ideal. So, yeah, going into the smoke phase. This area is so pretty, but like, look, the water's so low, it looks like it used to be all the way like up to here. Um, the person at the marina said it's like 50 feet low right now, but it's so pretty. <laughs> I tried to zoom in with my gloves and it's not working. Anyways, here's the famous Fontana Dam Hilton shelter and picnic table. Look at this solar charging trash cans beautiful fire pit so many picnic tables and look at the view it's gorgeous oh my gosh is this water wow um yeah it's so pretty here and then i think the shower house is up there i knew everyone called this the fontana hilton but i didn't realize it was like oh my throat <laughs> I didn't realize it was like actually written on it. So this sign here, it says that about, okay, the entire trip at the AT takes four to six months. About only a hundred hikers annually compete in the challenge. We, we think that's kind of off. <laughs> Let's hope to be among one of the a hundred. <laughs> oh. Here we are at the dam. Hiker detour right here because it's the danger zone because <laughs> they're doing like construction here. But look at this scary, not holding my phone over that. <laughs> here, let's look down here. Wow, life ring. Okay, let's go see. Here's what, what's detoured. Don't want to walk across that. This is danger zone. But look how low the water is. 
Look how pretty. Yay. Hi. <laughs> there is water running coming through under us. Look how pretty. Wow. Here's some craziness coming up. Two girls. <laughs> Great smoking out in the park. Here we go. In we go. All right, let's start. Your moment. More full than I said. Terminated. You have yours ready? I am. I am all ready. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Ooh. Oh my god. Whoa. Wow. I feel like the wood under us is so unstable. Yeah. Do you feel like shifting? Yeah. Damn, looks so sick. I wouldn't recommend doing this for you to stick your stairs up. Here's the view almost all the way up. And here's the vista. <laughs> There's a deer. What did you say when we saw it? Our My first, first non-human vertebrate. <laughs> but there it goes off the trail. Bye deer. Lunch break. <laughs> the trail, the trail is like so hazy. Not the trail itself, I guess, but like outside of it, like a helicopter just flew by and we could hardly like, Vista didn't even see it, but like I saw it, but like you hardly could. Like you can see like the trees there, but like before we could hardly see that there was like a mountain crossed. Like, I get it's the Smoky Mountains and it's like smoky, hazy, but like, wow, it's like really hazy. There's so many deer here. And then one ran that way. So many, so many friends. Here we are, we made it. We just popped out from there and then we were here. This bedside yeah, delivery, sorry. thank you. <laughs> Hello, welcome to day 19. Look at this beautiful view. Vista and I started the day um, a little bit ago, about at least probably like two miles in. We're going to the shelter that's like two miles or less um, until Clean and Stone. And in the morning, we're gonna attempt to wake up, hike to it and watch the sunrise. Hello everyone. So update, just had lunch. This is behind me. Um, just had lunch. It was about like nine miles into the day and I was just feeling so tired. Like, I don't know. I was like, am I dehydrated? Am I hungry? Like why, why does this feel so like, tiring? And I was really reassured when all of our friends got to that shelter for lunch and were like also really tired, I was like, I don't wish it upon them. <laughs> but I was like, okay, like it's not just me. Um, the Smokies really are just like up and down, up and down constantly. So you're basically watch walking like the ridge line and the mountains are pointy. <laughs> they just go up and down. Um, so that's what we've been dealing with. How are you feeling, Vista? I'm also tired. <laughs> yeah, so that's just the verdict. So, I, we convinced a lot of our friends that were at the shelter last night to do the sunrise thing in the morning, but I don't know. I feel like everybody's like, hmm, I don't know if I'm gonna make it to the shelter. That's like, it's two more miles away from the first one, but it's closer to Clingman Stone. So that may not be happening. We will see. Also, update from Vista. 
There was no fire. The smoke was just smoke, I guess. But it was not dangerous. So that made me feel better. Yeah. Like, there may have been a fire, but it wasn't like a concerning one. Like, we never received notice of it. Um, but like the haziness yesterday, like, it was like some sort of fire. But everybody else in camp were like, yeah, did you see it? And we were like, yeah, like, just trying to convince ourselves that like, it wasn't to be like, of concern, but it wasn't. and I decided to keep going. Um, it wasn't as bad uh, as the first half of the day, so we kept going. See, there we are. This is super cool. It's 5.30. We're going to the sunrise at Klingon's Dome. Almost there. But there's the start. Here we go. Ready, ready. Oh, we have to hurry. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I will. No, no. I can't run anymore. But look, there it is. Oh my god. <sighs> Look how pretty! Yeah, I think it's coming up right there. Yeah. <laughs> what am I? Am I going mad? No, I'm feeling myself. <laughs> I got that on video. That was a good. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. It is. Got some ice on trail. Some of the first we've seen. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. <laughs> the road is closed. So we're just some girls doing our Tumblr esque <laughs> photo shoot. <laughs> mountain that you climbed before oh my gosh so right Mount Lacan question mark oh. <laughs> we got trail magic and we are at Newfound Gap and the, the choir master <laughs> feels so silly just walking with my laundry through Gatlinburg, wearing my shorts I've hardly worn, and my puppy, my camp shoes. <laughs> but I guess I, I chose this life. Spinning. <laughs> In true hiker trash fashion, here I sit with my resupply slash lunch for tomorrow drinking a Pedialyte. Dinner, oh yeah. <laughs> From <laughs> Chicken Hut. Here we are. Looks like the trail, right? <laughs> My shoes, same ones as these. Just not breaking. Mm. Hello, everyone. So, I just want to give an update about what I've been up to today. Not a whole lot. Just zeroing here in Gatlinburg. Got got brunch with with Vista and her boyfriend, and just kind of walked around Gatlinburg a little bit. 
but I've mostly been hanging out here in my hotel room, enjoying my zero, editing some videos for you all, and in about 30 minutes, I have an appointment with Blaze Physio. I've had some, like, I've had some, like, pain a little bit in my feet, just sometimes in my heel, sometimes in my art, sometimes the top of my foot, and as you saw earlier, my shoes were, they weren't doing well, <laughs> so I thought maybe it could be that, but I'm not 100% sure, and I'm no expert, so I just wanted to reach out to Morgan over there at Blaze Physio to see what's going on and to see if there's anything that could be done differently. So just want to be safe rather than sorry. So I'll give you all an update about that, but I'm not too, too concerned about it, um, but we'll see. So update after the PT. She said that it was a good thing I got the new shoes because this will help. Um, so basically, I can't remember if I explained it, but the symptoms I was having was at the beginning of my hike, the arch of my foot started to hurt a little bit. I think I talked about that and I got super feet. Basically, go, and then it got better. But recently, I don't think I talked about this a ton, but my heel started to hurt a bit. And then like near my big toe not like the big toe itself necessarily but like the top of it and after talking to Morgan she told me that it's likely I have the beginnings of what's called turf toe basically it's when your big toe is being overextended when like you're pushing off so she gave me some exercises and stretches to help it and hopefully prevent it from hurting anymore. So I'm glad that I did that because it kind of seems like if I didn't, it could have gotten worse and it actually could have been something that slowed me down and made me have to like zero and stop. It's definitely gonna slow me down because now I have these stretches and exercises to do, but it's gonna prevent me from like actually really getting injured. So I'm really glad I did that. It's important to listen to your bodies and I'm glad I did. So it's the end of week three, heading back out onto the trail tomorrow, start of week four.